Back to the U.S. electoral map, and we are headed north towards Wisconsin, which carries 10 electoral votes. It was a reliably blue state for decades until the 2016 Trump shocker. Donald Trump carried Wisconsin by nearly 23,000 votes out of nearly 3 million cast, and recriminations over how little time Hillary Clinton had spent in the state have haunted Democrats ever since. Here's how Trump did it. He took all these areas that had previously voted for Democrats, and he turned them into so-called Trump country. Why? Because the mostly white, working-class voters in these areas were unhappy about wages, poverty, rising health care costs, and the fact that their lives weren't getting any better. Many flocked to Trump's message, make America great again. In 2020, the map looked pretty much the same at the county level, but the difference was the turnout. The two large blue spots in Wisconsin's south are the city of Milwaukee and the state capital, Madison. Biden won both of those by much larger margins than Clinton had four years prior, and that was enough to pull the state as a whole back into his column. To hold on to Wisconsin, Harris needs to maintain or boost her margin in big urban areas. Trump, as he did in the last two elections, will focus on the huge rural spaces in the state's west and north. And everyone expects the result, once again, to be close. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.